Hello everyone, welcome to this module on the Fair and Accurate Credit Transaction Act, or FACTA. Now the Fair and Accurate Credit Transaction Act, or FACTA, amended the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or FACRA, in 2003. So let's talk about FACTA and what it entails. Let's begin by FACTA's accomplishments. FACTA requires each of the three major credit reporting agencies to provide consumers with one free credit report each year. It also allows consumers to place fraud alerts on their credit reports, which require potential creditors to verify their identity before opening new accounts in their name. It permits consumers to place a credit freeze on their credit reports, which prevents anyone, including the consumer, from accessing the credit report without the consumer's permission. It also requires financial institutions and creditors to take steps to prevent identity theft and respond quickly to suspected instances of identity theft. It also requires mortgage companies to provide all applicants with the National Credit Score Disclosure Form at application. Let's begin by discussing the free copy of the credit report. So under FACTA, consumers are entitled to a free copy of their credit report from each of the three major credit reporting agencies. These are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion once every 12 months. And consumers can request their free credit report online by phone or by mail. The official website to obtain a free credit report is annualcreditreport.com. Now let's talk about fraud alerts. There are three types of fraud alerts that can be placed under FACTA. The one call fraud alert, which is also known as the initial fraud alert, the extended fraud alert, and the active duty fraud alert. So let's talk about the one call fraud alert, also known as the initial fraud alert. The initial fraud alert is designed for consumers who suspect that they may be a victim of identity theft or who want to protect themselves from potential identity theft. Now, when a consumer places an initial fraud alert, the credit reporting agencies are required to notify potential creditors the consumer's identity may have been compromised and they should take extra steps to verify the consumer's identity before opening a new credit account. Now the one call fraud alert or the initial fraud alert lasts for one year. And you want to remember that you need to be able to distinguish the fact that one call fraud alerts or initial fraud alerts last for one year, whereas extended fraud alerts last for seven years. On the other hand, let's discuss the extended fraud alert. An extended fraud alert is designed for consumers who have already been a victim of identity theft. An extended fraud alert is more comprehensive than an initial fraud alert, and it requires that the credit reporting agencies take additional steps to verify the consumer's identity. So these additional steps include contacting the consumer by phone before opening a new credit account. And the extended fraud alert lasts for seven years. And again, you want to remember that, that the extended fraud alert lasts for seven years, whereas the one call fraud alert lasts for one year. Let's talk about the active duty fraud alert. An active duty fraud alert is designed to help protect the credit of military personnel who may be more vulnerable to identity theft due to their deployment or other military obligations. So when a member of the military places an active duty fraud alert on their credit report, the credit reporting agencies must notify the potential creditors that the consumer is now on active military duty and that they must take extra steps to verify the consumer's identity before opening a new credit account. Importantly, the active duty fraud alert lasts for one year. So let's talk about the credit freeze under FACTA. So under the Fair and Accurate Credit Transactions Act, or FACTA, consumers have the right to place a credit freeze on their credit reports. Now, a credit freeze is also known as a security freeze, and it restricts access to a consumer's credit report, making it more difficult for identity thieves to open new credit accounts in the consumer's name. Once the credit reporting agencies receive the request for a credit freeze, they must put the freeze in place within one business day. And the credit report is inaccessible unless the individual requests the credit freeze to be lifted. Lastly, let's talk about the National Credit Score Disclosure Form. Now this is required under FACTA and is provided to all applicants for residential mortgage credit. And the National Credit Score Disclosure Form includes key information such as the consumer's credit score and key factors affecting the credit score. And this concludes our module on FACTA.